What's up you guys? It's Tuesday, November 17th. I hope you guys are having a great uh, Monday or a great week so far. Hope you guys are motivated ready to get after it today. we got a great test for you. Something we've done before. We just want to see our progress. Okay, so we're going to test our handstand push-ups. See if we're getting a little bit more efficient. Test to see if we're getting a little bit stronger with our deadlifts. Uh, so, before I go over the, t the details for today, for the workout, I just want to address something that we probably all saw yesterday. Uh, that we're moving to the purple tier in California, or at least in uh, most of the counties that we're in. Um, and the way we're addressing this, uh, we're going to continue doing what we've been doing since the first uh, day that we heard about this uh, and first got the guidelines. We're going to stick to the guidelines, making sure that everyone is safe as possible, uh, making sure that every station is sanitized, making sure that you guys all have the opportunity to come in without being uh, crossing paths and uh, make sure that we're social distance uh, just so that you guys feel as safe as possible um, we believe that this is a very high priority or a very risky thing it's something something that doesn't take uh, we don't take lightly it's something that we really put a lot of effort and time into uh, if you haven't noticed already uh, but we also believe that what we're doing inside the gym is helping us in the long term of fighting COVID. Uh, the quick term is to shut down, go home, stay at home, uh, but we believe that long-term effects may be uh, more detrimental than actually being inside the gym and working towards our fitness with the safety that we have here. So we're going to stay inside. Um, we perfectly understand if you don't uh, feel comfortable and you don't want to be um, a part of or uh, inside, uh, that's okay. We'll give you guys the opportunity to um, be responsible for yourselves uh, and make the choice, okay? But we want to give those who uh, understand the responsibility of um, the whole virus uh, personally and willing to take the risk to come in to make sure that they're still working towards their health, making sure that they're still getting um, uh, that hour a day where they can release and release some stress and help just mental sanity of being not being inside uh, the house all day every day um, and we believe that we're getting the best opportunity to do that uh, we're something that we're not trying to uh, preach we're not trying to tell people to, to do what uh, we believe uh, but we want to give the opportunity to those that um, feel the same way to still be able to come in and um, uh, have the opportunity to work towards their health Okay, so uh, we don't believe being outside when it's 40 degrees outside at 5 a.m. when it's raining or it's really cold, windy, uh, is safe uh, and something that any of us wants to do. Okay, so uh, we're going to stay inside. If you need to, contact me, uh, contact Anthony. We love to talk to you guys and make sure that you guys feel as safe as possible. Okay, uh, so let's hold on a little bit. So, today's workout. So, yeah, that, I just want to address that, get out of the way. And uh, if you guys need some help with uh, what's going on or more info, let us know, okay? Uh, we're here for you guys. Today, we're working on Diane, like I said. Uh, but before we get into that, we're gonna have a strength. We're gonna work on some split jerks or continue working on split jerks. Uh, we practiced a little bit yet uh, last week. Uh, we'll continue this week. Our goal is just try to work on uh, getting to a good split and receiving the bar in that same time frame. Okay, so whenever we split jerk, we never want to catch it into a split and then press the bar out. We want to try to press our body down into the split, uh, having our feet land and our elbows locked out at the same time. Uh, maybe like if you get really detailed, your front foot lands a little bit faster than your back foot. Uh, but the goal is to try to make sure that elbows are locked out, split, stance exactly the same, uh, land at the same time. Okay, so something to think about when you go for your split jerks. Uh, try to be as crisp as possible, even with the lightweight. Uh, try to treat it as if it was a max weight, just so we focus on speed and getting underneath the bar as fast as possible and locking out as fast as possible so we don't want to press the bar out. Okay, so uh, performance we're going to do uh, one set of three at 65, two sets of three at 70%, three sets of three at 75%, so six sets total. Okay, uh, take about one or two sets to warm up to that 65%, uh, and then we'll do seven RDLs after each set. Okay, so RDL, just a stiff-legged deadlift. Folks, on keeping that bar as close as you can. You don't have to touch the ground for RDL, okay? Uh, the goal is to try to make sure that we're staying in a good position, just hinging at the hip, 
feeling the tension in the back of our legs and our glutes and using our glutes to stand back up, okay? So if that's only at your knees or just past your knees, that's great, that's fine. I'd much rather you guys be in a good position than try to touch the ground and around your back and be in a bad position, okay? So we'll have seven RDLs after each step using that same weight, okay? Uh, it is from the ground, so we do have the clean and split jerk, okay? So 75% uh, uh, of your split jerk is heavy, but it's manageable to clean up, okay? Um, plus you get a little bit of practice in power cleans. Um, perform or fitness is going to do a 15 minute AMRAP like we did yesterday uh, while performance is doing their strength. Uh, the, today it's going to be tank out bike, uh, 10 dumbbell plank turn ups. Okay, so that's just going to be a top of a high plank. You're just going to try to pull one dumbbell up so you point up to the ceiling, okay, and it'll come back down. Okay, we'll go five beside 10 total. Uh, I'll shoot a video and send it to you guys and show you guys uh, uh, on the uh, on Wi-Fi app so you can kind of see a visual what it looks like. Uh, but we'll go for 10, five each side, 20 single arm dumbbell uh, shoulder overhead. Okay, these dumbbells shoulder overhead can be uh, jerks, presses, strict press, or push press or strict press. Uh, 10 each arm, okay? I, I hopefully could hope you guys can do uh, a jerk, okay? So a single arm jerk, just going from here, nipping, catch underneath uh, with a heavy dumbbell. Doesn't have to be the same way as the turn ups either, okay? But we'll go for 20 of those and then 20 single leg V ups as fast as possible, then we'll rest 30 seconds, and we'll do that for 15 minutes. The goal is to try to build up to a heavy dumbbell and see what we can get up to on the shoulder overhead. Yep. Then for our workout, uh, before I go over Diane, I'm gonna go over fitness, which is a 10 minute AMRAP. We'll have 20 dumbbell snatches, 25, 15 will be RX. Something you can move pretty easily, uh, should be able to go unbroken uh, for the 20. Uh, alternating each rep, so 10 each arm, 15 sit-ups, 20 push-ups, so a good amount of push-ups if you need to. We'll grab a box, a band, wrap it around our arms. Uh, just try to make sure that we're able to keep a good plank position for our push-ups. Okay, and then we'll do another set of 15 sit-ups, so 30 sit-ups total per round. We'll do that for 10 minutes, okay? Um, should be moderate to uh, intense workout, okay? Just be the shorter, it's only 10 minutes, okay? Uh, and we want super unbroken on the dumbbell snatches and the push-ups. Uh, the sit-ups will we'll be able to get a heart rate back down, but we want to make sure that we're uh, moving quickly on those. Okay. Uh, then performance, we have Diane, which we've done pretty uh, pretty often, uh, but it's a great workout. It's a full body workout, something that really shows the test to see if we're getting stronger or better at gymnastics, which we're trying to uh, work on. Okay, so uh, that's why we're doing it today. Uh, 21.59, deadlifts at 225, 155, Handstand push-ups could be strict or tipping, okay? Try to make sure you look at your time from previous and try to set that as you go, okay? So, uh, always going through with the plan. So, 21 deadlifts, if that's hard, break it up into seven, 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 okay? If it's moderate, go 11, 10, okay? If you're trying to just go balls to the wall, uh, go unbroken, okay? Handstand push-ups is another story. Uh, if we're not very good at handstand push-ups, then 45 is gonna be a lot. Uh, break it off, break it up before you have to. Okay, that's always what I recommend, especially for the fact I'm not very good at handstand push ups and I know uh, and been in workouts plenty of times where I try to push myself too much and then I just stand around because I'm failing handstand push ups. It sucks. Okay, uh, so think about it uh, as, as much as you can do. Okay, you want to be about 80% of that failure rate before uh, as you drop down. So if you feel like you could do two more, drop down. Uh, and then break it up, get ready to go, and then do, do your next set. Don't try to go to failure every single set because it's hard to recover from handstand push-ups. Um, all right, and then uh, if you have to, 777 for 21s, 555s, five, 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 uh, for 15s, 333s on nines, even though rule number one is never break up nine, but sometimes we have to earn handstand push-ups, okay? But the goal is to try to go unbroken throughout the full workout. 21.59 sub 3 is a good target time to shoot for uh, for fire breathers uh, about sub 5 is good for uh, us uh, average folk uh, and then sub 8 is something to shoot for if we are uh, doing it for the first time okay uh, we'll have a 10 minute time cap okay so if we don't finish in 10 minutes we'll stop all right, and then uh, make sure if you're having some shoulder issues, hit the symmetry at the bottom, okay? Uh, it's a good prehab, good rehab, 
uh, it's just gonna help keep your shoulders healthy and safe, okay? So uh, if you are having some issues, hit that, okay? You're gonna see a lot of good benefits from doing that at least two to three times a week, if not daily, okay? All right, guys, I know it's a lot today. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great uh, day so far and uh, we'll see you guys when you come in. All right, have a good day.